good evening. Once again I am Professor Carl the Killer. And here with me, in the chair today, is Professor Dylan Mirage Drum Reynolds. Emeritus Professor of History at All Souls College, Oxford. I understand that some viewers felt that last week we rather skated over the topic of Great Britain 1931 to single quote 38, the austerity years. I can only offer my apologies and pledge that Professor Reynolds and myself shall make every endeavour to fully explore tonight's topic of discussion, the 1905 Sebastopol uprising. Professor Reynolds, do you feel, as many do, that Sebastopol was indeed the birthplace of the Russian Revolution? See people who talk like this? <laughs> that's you, that is. That's you talking your best. I see. You see girls running like this. That's you, that is. That's how you run. See your bike? It's a girl's bike. I do not own a bicycle. You do and it's a girl's bike. Well I'd just like to say. It's for girls. You see those workmen's tents in the road. I have observed them. That's your house. That's where you go on holiday. See this? This is my drink. You can't have none. Yum yum, tasty. Oh, I just remembered. Sorry, I'm busy drinking my drink. Your dad phoned me up the other day. My father? What did he say? <laughs> la 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 la, I can't hear you. Speak louder, la 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 la. Professor Reynolds, if we might return to the matter at hand. Yes. I have here a copy of your book, Origins of the Crimean War. Poo, er, uh, poo. It smells of poo. That's because it's been inside your mum's bra? Well it would appear. That's why it's so very smelly. It would appear that the Sebastopol question is one that will continue to cause heated debate between historians. Professor Reynolds, thank you very much. Good night.